With reports of domestic violence spiking during the pandemic, the state is creating new avenues for help. Here's Ron Lee now with that story from police headquarters in Manhattan. With our city sidewalks mostly empty due to strict orders to stay at home, the concept of staying safe while staying at home is not a reality for children and adults who are experiencing physical or verbal abuse from someone they live with. Any increase in domestic violence is not something we want to see, and I think that the unbelievable pressure that everybody is under right now, the increasing financial impact on families is going to cause increased abuse in households. There's no question about it. Stephanie Nilva heads day one, a domestic violence advocacy group in lower Manhattan that focuses on clients ages 24 and younger. And she was horrified by the new figures released Friday by the NYPD. Between January 1st and April 19th this year alone, Police say 19 deaths had been ruled homicides from domestic violence. That's up from 15 deaths over the same time frame for 2019. That's a 25, 20 to 25% increase. That's kind of dramatic. Equally as alarming was a spike in domestic violence cases mentioned Friday by Governor Cuomo. The governor's office says across New York State, reports of domestic violence overall are up 30% for the current month of April versus April of last year. The exact number of cases and specifics for New York City were not made available. And with the coronavirus pandemic forcing many victims to spend more time than ever under the same roof as their abuser, domestic violence advocates are hopeful that victims will find ways to seek help. One issue might be whether people have privacy in their homes or access to a um, private device. Um, and that can be a real challenge. So it could be a matter of waiting for a time when an abusive partner is outside the household or trying to come up with an excuse to run an errand for oneself. Nilva also pointed out that when it comes to requests for orders of protection, courts are open for emergency cases. Meantime, Governor Cuomo announced Friday that in response to the, quote, dangerous uptick of domestic violence incidents, the state's hotline has been modified with a new text program and confidential online services to help victims. The number to text is 844-997-2121. You can also chat at any time with a domestic violence professional at www.opdv.ny.gov. In Manhattan, Ron Lee, New York One.